Hello, my name is Yudi. Today we'll be talking about andropause. Yes, I bet you've heard so much about menopause. Women who have gone through menopause are no longer ashamed or shy or embarrassed to talk about it. But the men are still embarrassed to talk about andropause because of the effects or how they think society will view them. Today we have Professor Ashiro, a professor of anatomy, uh, the medical director of Medical Arts Center. Today he's here to talk to us about andropos. Everything you wanted to know about andropos that you didn't and you don't. Everything you wanted to know about andropos, but too embarrassed to ask your doctor or to talk about or share with a man or everything you're too embarrassed in your closet to let anybody know you're going through. Today we're going to be talking about it. So wives, call your husbands. And uh, gentlemen, watch this because you will definitely need to know and understand this. Prof. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Doctor, what is andropause? Andropause is a word that we describe in uh, reproductive endocrinology amongst us uh, with the recognition of the fact that just as women go through menopause around the age of 45 to 50, men also have the same experience. In contrast to women in which their menopause is associated with uh, the end of the reproductive system. In other words, they no longer have the capacity to produce eggs that could be fertilized. In case of men, andropause is not associated with uh, infertility because they can still produce sperm. In fact, they can produce sperm up till the age of 90. Although at that time, those sperms will become a little bit defective as they produce uh, abnormal babies like Down syndrome. However, in their case, their andropause is associated with erectile dysfunction. And the erectile dysfunction comes in form of a, a loss of the desire for sex, or even if there is desire, a, the lack of erection, or the lack of ability to sustain erection, or the lack of ability to have erection long, uh, strong enough in order to have a proper intercourse with the wife. That is andropause. What causes andropause is part of aging. Most men who have experienced andropause, they look back to when they were about maybe 10, 20 years earlier, and they had uh, erectile strength even early in the morning, or whenever they, uh, they meet their partner, um, they have that urge and strength and the, the, the strong erection to sustain and continue a meaningful intercourse. It's been linked to a decrease in one of the male hormones known as testosterone. And we now find it that it's you know, it's been shown from the age group as early as 35 up to the age group of 70. And this is the age group that andropos can manifest. It is recognized that almost 70% of men who reach this andropos in that age zone and some later. How can you and uh, how can you control it or slow it down? One of the things that manifests is that when the man first discovers this, 
most men will think that maybe it has to do with something with their wife. And many homes have been broken because of that. And they begin to look for alternative partners. Maybe that's it, what was wrong. And also, the woman thinking that the effect is due to some neglect of her by the husband begins to act in a way that she, she now resents the man. And what you need is a high level of cooperation between the two parties in order to reinforce the confidence of the man and enable him to increase the process of erectile ability. Is it reversible? Adam, androgen deficiency of the adult male is a process. It is not 100% reversible, but you can reverse it to a great extent that the man can cope with it. To the best of my knowledge, one of the best ways to reverse erectile dysfunction is to take the man through the process of body regeneration. Because in my earlier talk, where I had spoken about the anatomy of aging, that sugar is one of the commonest factors. Other factors include alcohol. They say that alcohol increases the desire for sex, but it reduces the performance. So excess consumption of alcohol, body detoxification through a proper detoxification home where your body is cleaned of all the toxins that have accelerated your aging process, where the body has now been replenished with good nutrition, good vitamins, this erectile function is restored. Great is it restored? Is it restored as in uh, the aging process will no longer have effects on this part of the body? Absolutely. Simply because the if I go a little bit down to the biochemistry, what has occurred is that for a young boy, the hormone, male hormone testosterone is as high as about, let me put the figure six. For a man of 70, that level has gone down to about 0 0.5. How about a man of 50? It's been... We'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Uh, we'll be right back. If you're just joining us, this is Aging Gracefully, and today we are talking about andropause. That's the male menopause, let me put it that way. Even men also go through menopause. Prof, yes. thank you. Uh, we're talking about, what, what question before it escapes the my mind? The testosterone. Uh, yes, in the man from 50. Yes. And two, why are men so embarrassed to... For, uh, they wouldn't want people to know that they're going through this phase. Most men don't talk about it. I think that is more of a Nigerian factor. In the US, a number of men come out, but the percentage is still low compared to women. Yes. Because women are the first to talk recognize this and talk about it among themselves. But men, because of this ego of Mancho, they, they believe that they are, uh, they are not hit. complete without. They don't want to discuss it. And men are sure now when they know there's a solution. But when they think there is no solution, they're ready to hide it. And the solutions are, many, are manifold, right from dietary help to nutritional support to medication and to other methods that can be used to sustain erection. Uh, Prof, um, outside of the erectile dysfunction, or not being able to sustain a turgid erection like in your youth, 
like they were in their 20s, 30s, 40s. I, uh, do you have other symptoms? Because while I was going through the internet, they talked about night sweats. They talked about hot flashes that meant to have hot flashes. And they talked about um, insomnia. Yes, I think, I think the first symptom of androcon is insomnia. Because as I explained, the brain has a center in it which is dark, called pineal gland. It's just right below the back of the head in the brain portion. This hormone is the hormone that controls all the other organs of the body. And this hormone, unlike other organs that have uh, what, what we call stimulators, is on its own. It acts from extraordinary uh, supply of impulses. And the impulse that it comes off with is the melatonin, which comes out in the night to cause body regeneration. And by the daytime, it's sleeping so that you can be active. Now, when you don't sleep, when you don't have enough of that hormone, because your nutritional process has aged, that you can no longer metabolize the food to make the formation of that hormone. Your testosterone production is low because that hormone is not controlling the production of testosterone, which is a natural process. And all this is natural because the digestive process has aged as well. The absorption capacity for digestion is no longer there. So some of them are taking different drugs, like Viagra, like this and all that, but they're not absorbing it maximally because the intestine is now operating at about maybe 20% efficiency. So the first line is to restore the capacity of the intestine to absorb nutrients and energize it, thereby giving restoration of energy into that process. I have uh, known men who up to the age of 85, 90, were still very active with their erectile ability. And I've known men who from the age of 35 are having problems with erection. So it has to do with how you handle yourself. Abuse of the body with alcohol in excess, with high carb carbohydrate intake, sugar that burns out the insulin mechanism, too much fat food, these are the things that can cause it. Next is that when you now have hot belly, it reduces the circulation of blood to the testes and the penile organ because this organ is not controlled by the brain through the nervous system. It's controlled through the blood circulation. So it's like people who have cold shower will immediately lose erection, whereas when you have warmth in that area, direction is strong. So the circulation is blocked by too much fat in this area. So they have it difficult to have uh, penile circulation. So erection option is difficult. Okay. Describe, okay, outside of insomnia, erectile dysfunction, what uh, night sweat? Beyond sweats, that, beyond that, that yes. there'll be night sweat, there'll be unsteady hand, like uh, tremors, we call it. Okay. There will be uh, uh, amnesia, forgetfulness, the memory loss. These are all factors of aging uh, process. Uh, you put something there, then you are looking for it. You can't remember where you put it. These are things that come to you, manifesting along those lines. And then, of course, weight gain, which also comes in. And uh, these are, and then of course, thereafter, wrinkles will set in on the face, and uh, spots on the face, and those are the major parts where you notice that you have a problem. And then 
thereafter you have a decreased desire for for sex and um, uh, somebody that used to stimulate you before no longer stimulates you because the organ system is shut down and uh, it's on recognition that it's a physiological process by the other partner they can help their partner to come back with the energy of erectile activity how is this so because when the man experiences it he's trying very hard to restore that erection to prove to the to the partner that no there's energy here and the more he does that the more the organ will fail because the woman is now showing uh, from over excitement is now showing some resentment which shows on the man and he will lose it completely whereas when the woman cooperates and reassures him and uh, they relax and they start again through the limbic system one part of the brain the control can be reactivated he can now picture the process because sex is in the brain he must now process himself to put that pathway to become active. We'll be right back, Prof. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> you're welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is Aging Gracefully. And today we are dealing with the with andropause. What is andropause? Is the male menopause. Yes, even men go through menopause and they have a lot of symptoms. But the most serious symptom that most men are too embarrassed to talk about or to even let their friends know is that of an erectile dysfunction. And today, Professor Dakbo Ashiro, a professor of anatomy and the medical director of Medical Arts Center is here discussing andropause generally and uh, with specific uh, um, stress on erectile dysfunction to help men out there. That is just an aging process. It's a process. Prof, thank you. Okay. And uh, in these remaining moments, outside of the change of nutrition, are there exercises, are there things that one can do outside of uh, cooperation uh, from the partner? Yeah. You know, as you said, as we described, that in addition to insomnia, and to those other aging in other organs, the heart will also age and manifest with high blood pressure. The pancreas will age and they may show up with signs of diabetes. The muscles can age and they begin to show signs of joint ache and muscle weakness and arthritis. Those are things that will occur. And all these pathways are controlled by some uh, essential vitamins and cofactors which can be supplied and in in that way apart from exercise apart from cleaning the intestine so that we can improve the efficiency of the absorption process we can now subject them to some uh, technologies. One of them is called the hypoxicator, which is a wonderful machine that will kill all the aging cells and allow the new cells to multiply. We also have something called uh, food typing, so that you can type your food, so that you know what food are making you to age faster and stay away from them and recognize the food that are compatible to your body that will enable you to age very well. We also have that. We all have what, what has been used by the astronauts when they travel, the scanner machine that you can use on the body to make it to become reactivated. These are things that have been developed in a good setting in, in the process of holistic body detoxification. Not the type that just not uh, that will just take care of one or two things, 
but under medical supervision because when you detoxify in some process you can actually it can be very uh, life threatening but it should be under medical supervision and you have everything restored to you gradually and you now know how to maintain it thereafter is there any way that the male hormone it can be is, is it replaceable the danger about replacing male hormones is that there are some of these hormones that if you use it, it can cause prostatic cancer. But there is some that are bioidentical, which must be absorbed through the skin and administered through the skin. These are what we call the, the DHEA cream, which have been done through plant extracts or bioidentical, that is through hormones that are identical to our body. Does it help restore the erection to uh, touch it as when it was in your 20s and 30s? Absolutely. Prof, thank you. And thank the, you. there are some amino acids that we use which have been reduced with aging that are given back to restore erection to its fullest. Prof, thank you. Thank you always so gracious of you to join us, to educate us. Thank, thank you. you for your time. Thank you. And viewers, thank you for your time. And I'm sure you have learned a lot and that uh, aging is a process and there's so much you can do to retard the aging process by fighting it all the way. There's so many things out there for you. So there's so much information out there for you to uh, look for and study them and find a way to get through to where help is to help you restore your self back to where you were or where you thought you were comfortable and this will help you retard the indignities the insults of the aging process and uh, help you lead a better life as for the remaining part of your years thank you for your time and you have a wonderful week ahead of you and my name is yudi and god bless you